welcome to week number six of Olympia's second season as an FPS school. This week, we're taking on Fresno State in Fresno, California. And we're riding a high on a 3 and one record right now, touting the number one pass offense in the nation. That's right, the number one pass offense in the nation. Running is a different story, and we're pretty low on that end. A uh, little, little disappointing, but hopefully today we can get to a balanced offense. This will all be coming to you live after this. Fresno, California. Lance Roach in the back of the end zone. Good to see him back after the one game suspension. And he's going to take this one out for a decent return out to the 35 yard line. Something we've missed this season are those big returns. And out under center comes Atari Mason, also back from his suspension. And on first down, it's going to be a triple option. Pitch out to Kosi Minsa. This is going to go for about four yards. Not bad on the first running play of the game. Like I said, I'd like to see more running. Second and six now. Looks like Mason's under center, actually. And it's a play action. He gets wrapped up instantly. No chance to throw the ball there. And that's going to make it third and 14. Third and 14 now in the pistol. One man in the backfield. Atari's going to roll out. And he's going to heave this one deep. And it's well underthrown. Strong actually comes up with the pick here. And Fresno's going to get the ball at about the 46-yard line. Not a good start on offense, and I can't even remember the last time we didn't score a touchdown on our first drive. First and 10 for Fresno, and it's a bubble screen, and he gets rocked. Whoa, Chris Coleman luckily comes up with the ball for Fresno there, but we almost had it. Second and three, it's hand off to Jordan Mims, and he's going to take this one for a first down. Shrug off a defender, and that's going to be about 11 yards for him. First and 10 now for the Fresno offense. Now first and goal. They're just pushing their way down the field. It's going to be a speed option here. Pitch from Woolridge to Mims, and Jordan Mims gets the easy score. That's going to make it 7-0 to start the game. Wow. Not a great start for Olympia. Let's see if we can do any better here on our second series. First and 10, Atari under center, empty backfield. Only able to find Donald Gillett for a three-yard pass. That didn't really go very far. All right, second and seven. Looks like we have some sort of flanker action here, and it's a triple option, and Atari Mason is actually able to get 12 yards on the run, and that's a first down. Not bad from our option play so far. First and 10, Atari drops back. Finds Lance Roach on the slant route. Nice throw and a great route from Lance Roach. Good to see him back getting the ball in his hands. I hope he does get more usage. Second and seven, and Atari gets sacked again. Man, he's been sacked all year, and it doesn't look like that's going to change. Third and 14 now, Atari rolling out. Nothing open. He's just going to throw this one to Dion Hurd on the in route, and he catches it. That's a first down. Nice pitch and catch. That's called being patient and waiting instead of forcing it this time. And Crenshaw on first and 10. Almost gets a full 10 yards in the first down on the stretch play. Not bad. Second and inches, they say. All right. And it looks like it's a handoff straight up the middle to Bo Johnson, and he's just going to rumble his way forward for the three yards necessary to get the first down. Third and 10 now, kind of backed into a wall here. Lance Roach actually at quarterback. It's motion, and looks like a pass play, and Lance, it looked like it was maybe a busted play. I don't know. Something didn't go right there on the communication. Fourth and 12, we're looking to kick the field goal. Jose Escalar kicks it, and it is short. Oh, my gosh. It hooked back in, but it's just short. Let's catch. I'm hearing from people right now that Utah State, who's ranked, is actually getting blown out by San Diego State, fellow in-conference opponent. Man, that's big. I think we play Utah State next, too. First and 10, great field position for Fresno State. We might want to worry about our own game first. Woolridge dropping back. And he's going to throw this one for the end zone and somehow doesn't get picked off. Jalen Cropper 
He's going to catch that for a touchdown. And Woolridge is perfect so far. This is a 14-0 deficit. Not looking good. We could be seeing shades of last week already. First and 10. Atari drops back. He's going to heave this one deep. Dion Hurd had it in his hands but couldn't come down with it. Nice play by the defensive back to break that one up. Dion almost had it, and it's third and seven already. In route to Zeke Roberts, and he's actually able to hang on to that one. Catches the ball, and that's going to be about 20 yards and a first down, more importantly. Second and 10 now. Atari in the pistol. Drops back. He's going to sprint out to the right. Doesn't quite have anything open. He's going to chuck this one over the middle. Oh, my gosh. It's caught. And that's going to end the first quarter. A jump ball somehow turns up to be good. Oh my goodness, this first quarter was terrible. I hope we can do better in the second. And I'll come back in just a second. All right, third and three, I'm back. And so is Olympia. Looks like it's a read option. Hand off to Clinton Crenshaw, and he doesn't get enough for the first down. That's going to be fourth and one. You know Coach Cook, this is going for it territory. Fourth and one, triple option. And Atari is able to keep it and pick up enough, easily enough, for the first down there. That was a dangerous call that almost got snuffed out. All right, first and ten. We're making good progress here. We just can't have any turnovers. Dangerous pass across the middle, but somehow he gets it to Dion Hurd, and that's going to be an 11-yard catch. Dion Hurd getting some nice touches early this game. First and ten, and speak of the other wide receiver, that's Lance Roach, who's almost in the end zone. Oh, my goodness, that was close. Second and goal. From the one, Atari jumps in the end zone, and we're back in the points column. Good to see you back, Atari, under center. We missed you, buddy. Wow, 7-14 to 14 now. Now we just need the defense to step it up. We know they can. They've shown it. And on first and 10, Woolrich almost gets rocked. He's able to, well, he does get rocked, but he gets the ball out first. And third and five now. So far, a good defensive stand. Can we hold him? And Webster gets the inside track, and it's going to force an errant pass from Ben Woolridge. And we're getting the ball back. First and 10 now. Atari, he's looked good so far. This crowd is no longer getting to him, it seems. He's going to roll out, and all alone, that's Dion Hurd, who just can't quite break away. Doesn't have quite the acceleration he needs, but he does have the speed to get down there quickly. And now it's first and 10. Atari, same formation. Is going to find Lance on the timing stop route again. It's been a one-two punch of Lance, Dion, Lance, Dion. Second and goal now. Triple option it looks like. Atari takes it, pitches it out to Kosi. And he's going to get pretty close to the end zone. It's going to be third and goal from the three-yard line. We need the touchdown here. Can't come up way with three points. Third and goal. Atari drops back and finds Lance Roach. The man's been dynamite all day so far. And that's a touchdown for who, the guy that was suspended last week, and he's making an impact here. First and 10, Fresno back on offense. Let's see if our defense can do it again. And it's going to be a pass to Juan Rodriguez, six yards, and that's going to be second and four. Wolverine under center, drops back. He's going to scramble with this, and he actually is able to escape pressure and gets rocked, but not before he gets the first down. Not a bad scramble from him. All right, second and 12 now. Can we keep him on this side of the field, especially? Some field position would not be bad. And it's a handoff to Jordan Mims, and that's going nowhere. That's actually negative three yard run. Third and 15 now. All right, play a little soft coverage. We can do this. Wolverich drops back. He's running around. He throws this one, and it, was that picked off? Okay, no, they're saying he stepped out of bounds. Still, we managed to force another three and out, and, or not three and out, but at least a fourth down. And we get the ball back, and Atari's already running with it again. 15 yards and a first down. First and 10 again. Handoff. Clinton Crenshaw. Blocks are being picked up. Look at Dion Hurd on the edge, holding his DB. That is good blocking. Dion having a great day. Atari Mason having himself a nice day, too. Fine, Zeke Roberts. Been a quiet day for him so far, but hey, we got plenty of time left. And you can see, it looks like Clinton actually got shaken up a little bit. Hope he's all right. First and 10. Kosi able to turn the corner and gets 10 yards out of catch when he should have been in the backfield dead to rights. Second inches they rule. All right. Looks like we got a stacked backfield. Kosi. And it's all a misdirection for Dion Hurd in the fade route. Throw it up to your tall wide receiver and he'll come down with it. What a beautiful idea 
Something we should probably do in the end zone more. We got a red zone threat. We need to throw it to him. First and 10, Fresno with some great field position, but they're down seven points today. First lot or deficit of the game. Second and eight now, and now third and five. Fresno, gotta get five yards to the first down here. Woolridge drops back, surveying. Doesn't like what he sees. He's gonna start taking off with this, and he's gonna get rocked well behind the line. That's gonna be fourth down, and let's see if they go for it. Nope, they choose to punt, so we get the ball back. Pump fake from Atari Mason. He's able to find Zeke Roberts across the middle on the little zag route. That's gonna be a nice 17 yard pickup for a first and 10. First and 10, Atari dropping back. He's gonna air this one out to Zeke Roberts now on the flag route, and he's got him. First and 10, a beautiful display of passing so far. Atari rolls out, and he's just gonna take this one off running and actually jukes and makes a man miss. Picks up the first down there. He liked it not to slide and instead ran for the first down. First and goal. Atari finds Mike Brink. Not quite in the end zone. We only have 13 seconds left. We got to get hurry up here. Looks like a timeout was taken. Second and goal. Man in motion. And it's all a misdirection for a handoff to Bo Johnson. He gets the one yard. And your Olympia Raiders are now up 28 to 14. A whole two touchdown lead. And that's how we're going to go into halftime. A much better showing this week. Let's see if we can keep it going next half. All right, so you know the drill. Fresno gets the ball. Second half. Let's see what we can do here. Defense has looked stellar so far. Can we keep it up? Jalen Cropper with a nine-yard reception, and that's a good way for Fresno to start the second half here. Third and one. Can we hold them? Three and out. Quick three and out would be huge. Ben Woolridge drops back. Nope, he's able to find Juan Rodriguez, and he's actually able to run for about 20 yards. And we're there across the 50-yard line, first and 10. All right, and Woolridge drops back. Doesn't like what he sees, he's going to try to scramble, and he gets rocked and brought down for a 7-yard loss. That's a big sack, and Manny Prince comes down with the sack. Second and 17, Ben Woolridge dropping back again, and is that, is that Manny Prince again? Oh my gosh, back-to-back -back sacks for Manny Prince. And they have a third and 23. You better believe we're playing soft coverage. Woolridge gonna air it out, and it's not near enough. It is actually near enough, but not enough at the end. The soft coverage pays off, and now they're gonna kick a long field goal. I don't see them hitting this. Gotta be about 60, 55 yards. Kicks up, it's in the, it's good, wow, okay. Fresno, got a good kicker there. Third and nine, Olympia. Not having the best first series. Lance Roach going to roll out. And he's just going to take off with this one. All field in front of him might as well take off with it. First and 10. And Atari looks like we got Bo Johnson and Clinton Crenshaw in the backfield. And Bo Johnson going to pick up a crucial block there. And that's actually going to be enough for Clinton Crenshaw to run ahead and get the first down. I'm telling you, we've got skill guys that can block. And when you have that, you have an offense. Bo Johnson, first and 10. Going to run himself a nice six yards on the off tackle there. Bo Johnson's having himself a decent day. Not really eye popping. And I'm still waiting for him to be the breakout, you know, star that we need. But so far, he's had himself a solid day. Third and nine now. Olympia, can we manage to get the first down? It looks like triple option. And it's snuffed out and covered very well. And it's going to be fourth down. We're going to kick it. So still a two-score lead. Two touchdowns. And on first and ten, Fresno State going to find Carrick Wheathall. That's a four-yard catch. And now third and six. Man, we keep forcing them in these third-down situations. That makes things a lot easier on the defense. Of course, here they managed to convert, and that's Edwards. Emery Edwards, actually, on the 16-yard catch. Ben Woolrich having himself a good day. Just hasn't been able to quite get over the hump here. And on first and goal... Nope, that speed option, we scouted it from last time they ran it and scored on us. We, weren't, we were ready for it this time. Second goal, Woolridge drops back, has all the time he needs. Finds Patrick Alima June for three yards. And that's not in the end zone apparently. And on third and goal, flag thrown, let's see what it is. Is this a touchdown or is this on them? Offsides, okay. So that is score, touchdown, obviously declined that penalty. And we have the ball again on first and 10. Atari Mason, the option's been working all day. Thankfully, he slides with it this time. Avoids the hit. First and 10. Atari in the pistol. He's going to roll out. You know he loves to roll out. 
throws it off his back foot and this is well underthrown. Ruffin manages to come up with the pick. Maybe Zeke had a step, maybe, I don't know. I think that was just a really bad idea to pass it in the first place. Not to mention a terrible pass and Fresno's got the ball back. First and 10, Ben Woolridge. Looks like a play action here and he's gonna find Rob Kelly. That's our guy this time that he finds and that's a pick in our favor right back. Back to back interceptions. That helps even the odds a bit. And helps us stall too. And look at this, just jumps the route perfectly. Had his man covered, even had a safety to, to play uh, defense there in case he missed the pick. That was just good defense. I'm loving what I'm seeing from our defense today. And on first and 10, it's gonna be a pitch out to Kosi Mensa on the triple option. Gets it about three yards, not, not a ton. And that's gonna end it for the, first, the third quarter. Well, we still have a seven point lead. Hopefully we can win our first conference game of the year. We'll see you coming up in the fourth quarter. All right, well, we start the fourth quarter at third and 17, a long way to go. Man open and Atari throws it off his back foot and that was nowhere close to the tight end Zeke. That's gonna be Fresno State's ball. Great field position too. First and 10, Ben Woolridge snaps it. Read option, he's gonna keep it himself this time. And he gets wrapped up and oh man, I hope he's okay. It looks like he took a bad fall. Could have broken his neck there, that was scary. Woolridge drops back, another flag thrown. Manages to find his man Wheatfall and see what the flag is. And it's another offsides, gosh darn. All right, first and 10, Fresno State. Looks like they're trying to even up the score here. Then Woolridge drops back, surveying, and he throws this. I don't know how that wasn't picked off. Jalen Cropper of all people manages to come down with the ball there. And now it's first and goal. Now third and goal for Fresno. Can we hold him? Woolridge drops back. And he finds Rodriguez. It was good coverage, but he manages to find him anyway. And that's going to be tie game. Wow. First and 10, Olympia with the ball back in our hands. And this is an off tackle handoff to Bo Johnson, who rumbles his way forward for a first down. Not a bad run there. All right, five minutes remaining. Now four and a half. Second and nine, Atari drops back. He's going to scramble out. Doesn't have quite... Oh, okay, he finds Mike Brink. I didn't think he had anything open there. Third and one now. It's a handoff to Kosi Minta, and we get the first down. And I'm looking at the scoreboard, and apparently it's 31 to 30. I'm going to have to ask somebody what that's about. I thought Fresno State evened up the game. Third and four, Zeke Roberts. He actually manages to catch it, and that's a first down on a 20-yard catch. And so I'm hearing... It's actually 30 to 31 because Fresno State committed an infraction and the extra point was nullified. So I'm sure there will be some controversy over that if that's what causes this game to be in our favor. And right now it's looking that way. Second and six. All we have to do is score here. Atari drops back, throws it. Oh my gosh, that was dangerous. Almost picked off. Bad pass there. Third and six. Looks like Kosi Minso is in motion. He's actually going to step up to the line here. Kind of looks like a tight end right now. Some adjustments being made. Atari snaps it. And he finds Kosi on the slant route. And that's a touchdown. Kosi, I'm telling you, that's our gadget player. And now it's 37-0. 38-0 after the extra point. So, yeah, that extra point lost means something right now. Now it's a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie the game up. A minute and 45 remaining for Fresno. they got to make something happen and quick. And that's not a bad way to start. Finding Wheatfall across the middle of the field for 15 yards will definitely get you closer to an end zone. Second and 10 now, Ben Woolridge under center, empty backfield. He drops back, takes his five step drop, and finds Edwards for the first down. He's got all the time in the world. We need to get better pressure. First and 10, Ben Woolridge empty set again. Drops back, surveying, and he throws this one. And wisely throws that one out of the end zone. That was well covered. Could have been a pick to end the game. Second and 10. Then Woolridge with the ball again. This time has a man in the backfield. And he gets walloped. That's Cody Rowe hitting the backfield. And we've actually gotten quite a few sacks off on Ben. Ben Woolridge drops back third and 17. And he finds Edwards across the middle. And somehow we don't bring him down to make it fourth down. That's enough for a first down. And they've got 40 seconds remaining with no timeouts. Second and 10, 35 seconds remaining, drops back. Ben Woolridge, he has all the time he needs and it's enough to find Wheatfall for the touchdown. 
we're two points away from this being a tie game and that extra point being irrelevant. All right, gotta stop him here. I don't care about controversy, I care about winning. And that doesn't matter because Juan Rodriguez catches the two-point conversion and we have a tie game, 38-38 with 25 seconds remaining. All right, Olympia, make something happen. I don't wanna take this to overtime. Atari drops back, oh my gosh, that's not the way to start. Almost sacked, almost fumbled. Somehow not, oh my gosh, okay. Second and 10, we find Nicholas Chase on the stop route, and that's not bad, but we only have 17 seconds left. First and 10, and we run a triple option, some, what? And somehow Clinton Crenshaw is able to get the 10 yards out of it to stop the, the clock. Uh, that was a terrible idea, and it just happened to pay off. All right, first and 10, dropping back and wide open, wasn't, didn't even have a DB on him, that's Donald Gillett. And guess who's in field goal range with eight seconds left? We have a chance to win this thing. First and 10, ladies and gentlemen, we may actually win this thing. Our first ever game in a conference and Clinton Crenshaw is gonna make it happen up the middle. He's gonna center the ball and go to even closer. Second one, we took a timeout, this is it. This is for the game. Jose Escalar, make it happen, Captain. All right, he's taking his time. The ball snapped, it's up. And it's good, baby! We beat Fresno State for our very first conference win. And you can just see it goes straight down the uprights. Jose Escalar, he is ecstatic. He knows he just won a huge game for us. Huge. And that's it. Wow, that game was interesting. But, you know, we managed to take it and we look good. Wow. Atari actually ends up getting player of the game. I think that's well-deserved. He looked amazing. And we'll see you next week for the pre-week update.